This is a six month um, update on AT&T uh, 1000 internet. Uh, <clears throat> I've had uh, AT&T internet now for six months. Um, after three months, it was already kind of boring at that point. Um, but um, the 1000 of AT&T is um, only really very useful if you um, have a lot of people in a household or you have uh, uh, you play games, three-dimensional games, and have very high-end PCs or have a lot of money. Um, those are really the main benefits. Um, for everybody else, about 99% of the people, they just don't need a thousand speed internet. Um, 100 or 200 um, is more than uh, good enough for, for most people. Um, in games, if it's a three-dimensional game, you may notice a difference, but other than that, other kind of games, you, you really won't really even notice a difference, uh, not enough to mount anything. Um, and uh, <clears throat> one thing that I have learned, however, is um, there's two main seg sections to when you install AT&T Fiber. Um, you have a um, port, a, bit, a thing outside the house, and then you have a box inside the, inside the house. Um, both of those boxes you really don't want to mess with at all. Um, the box inside the house, when they installed it, um, they had it plugged in all the time. And during the, time, the six months I've had it, I did have an outage at one point where there was a problem somewhere else, and um, it affected me and they eventually resolved the issue. But during that time, I learned that, um, you know, you don't have to have it on all the time. Uh, the installer said, well, no, you need that on all the time. But um, during that outage, I, uh, found, I, I had placed it on the, uh, uh, a surge protector, and so only when I turned on power to the surge protector did it have power to it. Um, and then I called AT&T and asked them, and they said, well, no, you can do that if you want to. And that's actually a better way to do it because if you have storms or different things that go on, um, that way um, that device is not on all the time. Um, if it gets shorted out or something or it blows up, then you, you could get billed for it from AT&T or something. Or I, don't, I don't know how they'll deal with that, but it's not something you should really go into if you don't have to. Um, but um, as far as the download speed of a thousand um, gigabytes, um, the only real advantage is if you're uploading or downloading files, um, and it, it's not doesn't necessarily work well with everything. The worst results I ever had was using virtual machines, and um, and I had one on Arch Linux that wasn't working well, and the downloads wasn't going well at all and it was related probably to other issues related besides the internet, but it was not really a pleasant situation. Um, but um, if you're uploading files, it's okay. If you are um, uploading 4K video, then you'll, of course, it, it would be very beneficial. Um, but even me here, I'm not using 4K video, even though this camera, this phone does have 4K video on it, but I prefer using the, the uh, self camera so I can see what I'm doing and um, so I'm not even using the 4K anymore at all, hardly. Um, so, um, and on downloads, um, it doesn't always work as beneficial as you may think. Um, if you have like a 100 megabyte or even a 30 megabyte, um, you probably, for most people, are going to do just as well. Um, I'm only one person, and so for me, there's really almost no benefit at all of having a very high-speed internet. I've tried very hard uh, to make use of it, um, and um, but web pages just simply don't do any better. And most days, that's about all I'm doing 90% of the time. Um, and so, um, there's really it's, it's very few things that you're downloading or uploading uh, enough, large enough size that it's going to really make a difference. So um, even after six months, I'm still saying that the best is usually 
a fiber 100 or a fiber 200 or even just even reg regular de um, internet, even 30 megabytes up, up um, uh, I mean down, and um, maybe two megabytes or, or better up is more than good enough for 99% of the people out there. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much all I have for this on this update. Um, I wanted to get a six-month update in. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And thanks a lot.